A couple of you guys have asked if Jesus of Compression actually helps speed up your site. So in this tutorial, we're going to speed test a site before and after Gzip to see if we can answer that question. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. We help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here, hit subscribe and then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and speed test with Gzip. I'll see you there. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to GT Metrics and test our site speed. So I'm going to type in my URL. You type in yours there and then click on Analyze. I'm going to fast forward this part just so it's faster. Now we see a couple things. Page speed score of E, Y slow score of D, which isn't great. If you get an E and a D in school, you're not doing very well but our site is still loading at 2.9 seconds, which is actually pretty darn good. What these guys are measuring clearly isn't the most important things that are still missing on the site. One of them that we have here is enable gzip compression. We get an F, score of zero. On Y is slow, we have compressed components with gzip, also an F. So if we head over to our HTTP compression test, we can confirm we have no compression by testing, and we see here we're not compressed. So if we head into our website cPanel, click on File Manager, open our HT Access file in the site root. You can also do this via FTP if you're more comfortable with that. Just gonna use the code editor in here. I'm gonna paste in, after the WordPress section, the gzip compression code, which I've linked to down below as well. And we're gonna see if this actually helps with our load time. Click on Save Changes, gonna confirm that that worked and our compression test, we're going to test it here. Yes, it's compressed, so that's awesome. Go back to our GT metrics. So the things we want to keep an eye on is the page speed score of E, the Y slow score of D, 2.9 seconds load, and one megabyte page size. All of these should change if we have some site speed improvements. So let's click on retest. When we add the GZIP compression, we see a lot of our stats change. Our page speed score has changed to an A. The gzip compression enabled component is now at 99, which is almost as good as it gets. But what also happened was the minified JavaScript and minified CSS, which were not great on the first run, were increased to a B and an A because we zipped them up. We didn't minify them specifically, but we compressed them, which reduces their size. So we got an A and a B for that, and that brought our overall score up to an A. Why slow score? Up from an E to a C, which is a pretty good improvement. A teacher would give you a pat on the back for improving that well in school, so give yourself a pat on the back if you went from an E to a C. Page load time, 2.6 seconds, is only a little bit faster than before. It was 2.9 if you remember. And if I keep testing this, this page speed fluctuates. Even with gzip enabled, it may not be a huge difference in your page speed, but even a little difference counts. All of these things to make your page load faster often provide just small incremental changes, but they build on each other. And your site gets faster and faster by implementing all of the changes. Our page size is down to 30% of what it was. It was a megabyte before, now it's 323 kilobytes. And that of course helps with faster load time. It also helps with reducing the amount of bandwidth that your site uses on your server, which will make your host happy, and also enable your site to load faster because it's not using as much bandwidth. So as I alluded to, gzip compression is a small component. Depending on your site's configuration, it may help a lot or it may help a little, but either way you should have it implemented in order to have your site compressed and loading as fast as it can, even if it's only a small improvement. So the results don't seem to be significant, but every little bit counts when you're speeding up your site. And this site was already fast, so the difference might be smaller than it is on your site. So I encourage you to try it out anyway. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appear on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.